What's up everyone, my name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I am so glad that you're back. Today we are at Disneyland. We are here for their Lunar New Year celebration. It's happening at Disney California Adventure Park and I am so excited. Today is opening day. There's lots of yummy food, fun character meet and greets, and some really cool activities. So come along and let's go have some fun. I've got little Maya here with me. Are you excited? We heard that there is a May May meet and greet. Uh, so and look what I'm wearing. Yes, you're wearing your red panda shirt. <laughs> she will love to see this. She will love to see it. So I'm hoping we get to see her. I'm so excited to try the food. There's lots of yummy food. There's some really cool activities for families to do as well. So like I said, it's opening day. So I'm not too entirely sure what we're going to see or what we're going to get into. But I know it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started. First things first, we are catching up with a very special guest. You all know her and you love her, so we're waiting for her right now. My sister Jessica is here! Are you Hi. ready? I'm ready. You know what year it's it is? It's been a minute. 2024? No, what year in Lunar oh. New Year? Year of the? Dragon, Mushu. Lots of Mushu happening. <laughs> Let's go find our first food. We're gonna just jump right into it. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be good. It is such a beautiful day out today. I'm so excited because the last three days it's been pouring rain. All right, we are official. We've got our tasting cards. Six tastings on here. You can use it on food, drinks, but no alcohol, right Jess? Correct. All right, and since it's still, I mean, it's just barely 11, I need some coffee. We all need some coffee, so there's, um, there's a coffee. You just have coffee in the morning. Oh, I need more coffee. coffee. Okay, our first stop is at Wrapped with Love. The booth it's called Wrapped with Love. No love without being wrapped. And we are getting a coffee here and it looks delicious. It has taro on it. And it looks like it has a cold foam. I'm all in. Okay, so our first booth was Wrapped with Love and I thought that the taro coffee was there but it's actually at another place. So hold on that. We did get a yummy, yummy looking drink. We have a non-alcoholic Yuja pineapple cooler and it has this like delicious foam on top. A cherry coconut foam on top this looks good I'm not a big pineapple fan but I do love anything that has like a yummy whipped topping sort of deal so let's dive in okay wait this tastes delicious give me my drink yep <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you this tastes like a liquid dole whip with like a raspberry type of dole whip on top this is amazing this is so good. Try it. Get cold foam all over. Oh, that's a smart idea, using the straw. Oh, this is delicious. Is that so refreshing? Mm -hmm. It's non-alcoholic. I have a new one this year. What is it, this? It's a must, a just, or a bust. And this is definitely a must. This is a must. Okay, cool. Love that. A must, a just, eh, or a bust, which yeah. means like, hey, no way. Since this is non-alcoholic, let's see what Maya thinks. It's so good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What do you taste? Uh, strawberry. So good. So good. We also got a new item. It's the fried lemongrass and chicken dumplings. And I have to say, they look okay. I do love a crispy pot sticker dumpling kind of deal. And it's coated with like a plum sauce. Hmm, it's good. I am bummed it's a little cold, which is not the vibe, but the flavors are good. I love the lemongrass, the sweet plum. I would love these if they were piping hot. You get three of them, which I feel like is a good deal. These are yummy, but they need to be warmer. Jess, what do you think? I don't like it. You don't like it? Wait, the flavor though, because no. I know it's not, it's not warm. It tastes like you just been to a lemongrass, like a stalk of lemongrass. Right, lemongrass is it's like, lemongrass is very strong. It is, you have to like lemongrass to like these. It's a bust. <laughs> Did we just get our first bust yeah, in the video? Yeah, it's a bust. <laughs> For me, it's a just uh, because I wish they were warmer, but um, yeah, you make the decision on that one. Mom, do you? Yeah, I loved it, but you drank all of it. How is it? We are cruising to the next food booth. It's called Bamboo Blessings. The names of these food booths are pretty epic. First we had Wrapped with Love, now we have Bamboo Blessings, and I'm finally getting that coffee, so here we are. Okay, so at the Blessings, no, at the Bamboo Blessings booth, we picked up, it's like a Mickey-shaped hot dog bun. Mickey-shaped hot dog bun. Yeah, that's what it is. We've, it's, what, I mean, it's just like a it's Mickey. Like a fluffy brioche. A fluffy bread with hot dog in it and seasoning. Oh, it's like a pull-apart bread. Look at it, it's like a pull-apart bread. Ooh. And it has like a hot dog inside with some seasonings. They also give you mustard and ketchup for this, but we chose not to put it on, but I'm sure if you're that kind of person, it would be good. <laughs> I'm not a condiment type of gal. 
<laughs> okay, my sister says this is a must. It's definitely a must. It's definitely a must. A lot of people love this because this has been a Lunar New Year iconic food item forever. Just a basic hot dog, but shaped like a Mickey head it's with like a little real. bit of seasoning. <laughs> I'm a basic <laughs> you can't mess up a hot dog in, in a flavored bun. I mean, it's great. It tastes good. To me, this is just a just. It's like a maybe. It's a must. It's a or must. It's a just. I'm a must. The bread is good. The hot dog is good. Don't lose your dog. The hot dog is actually good. What I like about that Mickey shaped hot dog bun is that the hot dog's really good. It's got a nice snap to it, good flavor. But I do think that there are other more exciting things here to try at Lunar New Year. Now, we've been talking about this coffee for the last, like, I don't know how long. This is a taro topped Vietnamese style coffee, and it looks awesome. Mmm. Whoa. What am I tasting? Taro. It's like sweet, sweet, creamy, a little bitter from the coffee. Taro. Taro cream. I don't. What does taro taste like, though, really? Kind of. I really like, I really like the cream on top. This is good. All right, Jess, what do you think on the coffee? I'm getting like nutty. It tastes nutty to me almost. I like it. No, I like it too, but what am I tasting? I don't think I've had enough taro flavored items to really like distinguish what it tastes taro like. Taro like ube. Which is like a purple sweet potato, kind of sort of? Yeah, taro root. Okay, well, it's good, honestly. I do wish there was some boba in it though. No. <laughs> Why? I want the balls. I mean, it's you get the bitterness from the coffee. It's really smooth and creamy from the taro topping. I think it's a must. If you like coffee, I think you should definitely try it. Strawberry milk macaron. Go for it, girl. Oh, mm. What do you think? Yeah, what do you taste? Strawberry. Another strawberry item? Yeah, this is good. I think I will eat this all. You what? I will eat this all. <laughs> Can I try it? Mm -hmm. There's nothing I love more. Oh, I got stuff on my camera. I got like strawberry buttercream on my camera. I don't know if it's off or not. I guess we'll know by the end of the video when everything looks a little like <laughs> off. <laughs> everything looks greasy. <laughs> Whatever, we did our best. Okay, we have the strawberry milk macaron and I love macarons. Is there a filling in here? Yeah. Oh, there is? It tastes great. It definitely tastes like strawberry milk. Mm, I love the crunchy exterior of a macaron and the strawberry is giving like strawberry Nesquik vibes. It's very good. I love that kind of taste. <laughs> I know my sister does not like strawberry milk Nesquik. So here, have a bite. Oh. <laughs> that is a home run. That is a must. You don't think this is a must? You cannot tell me this is a bust. If you've ever been to the dentist, oh, you got the strawberry fluoride flake. That's what that is. Yum, yum. Oh wait, there is a filling. Can you hold the camera for a second? Oh, what is that? I have to taste it. Oh, this is like the milk tea part of it. This is a strawberry milk tea macaron. And that's like a, bo it tastes like boba, but it doesn't have the same texture. What is that face? I think it's great. 
like a little boba on the inside. Yes. Like a mochi. You see what I said? When I said I wanted boba from the coffee, and uh -huh. it came in the macaron. There you go. Wishes come true at Lunar New Year. <laughs> Manifest what you want, people. Yes. You get it. Okay, now you have to taste it with the no, boba. No, I'm okay. I'm come not. on, taste it with the boba on the inside. I'm it, good. it does look questionable. I will give you that. It's dyeing my mouth red. But I still think this is a must. Before we move on to our next food booth, or maybe we'll go check out the merch. I'm not sure what's happening next, but I do want to talk about this really cool thing. It's the tasting passport. And in here you can find all of the descriptions to all of the yummy foods that are at every single booth. It'll tell you where to find them. There's cool pictures and you can get stamps. It's like a stamp through your passport. Whenever you visit a booth, you can stick, get a stamp. And then if you collect all seven stamps, there's a little prize at the end. But I think this is such a great interactive thing to do and to keep tabs of what you're trying here at the festival. I love this. So when you come to Lunar New Year, make sure you grab one of these tasting passports. Where we were tasting our food, there's like all of these years that'll tell you what year are you, which is so exciting. So let's see. I think I'm the year of the ox, but let's double check. I was born in... No, I was born in 1985. Here I am. I am. Year of the ox. 1985, that's me, Year of the Ox. Maya, where are you? Oh, Maya! Maya was born in 2019. She is the Year of the Pig. Is that you? Where's Mayla? You gotta find Mila. 2015, 2015, Year of the Sheep. That's Mila, Year of the Sheep. What? Mila's a sheep? What year were you born? 1991. 1991. I'm a sheep. Hey! We're just like Mila. Mila's a sheep. Aww. We're here with my friend Rachel, and she was born in 1984. In 1984, and she already knew that she was Year of the Rat, so I'm we've been rat. scanning the board for a rat. They left me out. They left you out, <laughs> but turns out <laughs> it's Year of the Mouse here. There's no rats in Disneyland. That is so cool. I love that. Now I want to go read like what it means to be born in the year of the ox. This year is the year of the dragon. That's why Mushu is everywhere, which I love. We are big Mulan stands in our house. So, oh, this is so much fun. I love it. Whoa. I play mantis. We were on our way to our next little activity and we found a praying mantis. My sister Jessica spotted it. Apparently that's good luck. Here we are. Here we are. 2024. It's going to be a good year. Okay, I saw some ears on the internet. I think on TikTok or Instagram and I really, really want them. They're the Baymax ears and we found them at the San Francisco's Makers Market. I'm so excited. They are so cute. They have Baymax, Mochi on them. These are adorable. I need these. I'm so excited we found them. There's tons of them here. Mommy, look at Mochi. Oh, so cute. Hey, Mom, look at it. Look He's like so squishy. This lounge fly is so cute. It is squishy. Look, and if you, his arms come off. I know. He's hugging Mochi. This is adorable. Baymax! Baymax! I've got my Baymax ears. I'm so excited. So we're out with the and we've got them on! I'm so excited! How do they look? You wanna squeeze them? You just wanna squeeze them? Go ahead, girl. <laughs> They're so squishy! All right, so let's go check out some merchandise. Disney loves doing brand new merchandise for any celebration, festival, holiday. And this little Mickey here with his dragon ears is so cute. His silky little outfit. He's so soft. I love him. There is, of course, a spirit jersey and brand new Minnie Mouse ears. Both are very gold and very red. They're so cute. I almost got those ears actually, but I didn't. I do want this ornament for my Christmas tree. There's also a magnet and this really cute sign. If they had this detail on a t-shirt, this graphic on a t-shirt, I would get it. I love the characters in their little Lunar New Year outfits. It's very cute. A closer look at this spirit jersey. It has little Disney characters in the gold detailing on the bottom. I think it's really cute. If I was a spirit jersey girly, I would get it. I really, really enjoy it this year. Over by Paradise Gardens, you can do so many Lunar New Year activities like this wishing wall. This is so cute. It's also free. You get to write your wish on a cute little decorative piece of paper. And I just love 
love, love this. After you write your wish, you can hang it on the wishing wall. And I think a lot of people actually write heartfelt wishes that they want to have come true in 2024. I just love that you can do this and just set some good intentions for 2024. Um, we wished for health and happiness and we hung our wishes. Also in this same area, you can check out the Chinese calligraphy artist. You can choose from a selection of meaningful words for them to write for you and it's so beautiful it's also free it's such a fun little souvenir and it's just it's beautiful i absolutely love it okay so we hit a little side track <laughs> we've been standing in line to meet may may and her mom for how long an hour and a half an hour and a half oh, my sister stuck it out with me and i'm so excited because we're gonna make it i could see them and they look so cute this meet and greet is brand new for this year and it's gonna be worth it right are you happy you waited? Yeah. No. Hi, guys! Hello. How are you? Well, we are doing so well. Thank, Thank you for, for visiting. Thank I see you have a little panic spirit. Oh, well, of course. You know, it's always good to keep your pen out. Right? It makes me feel the most confident. Pandemonium. And I must say that there was a little bit of time where I was, I didn't want Mei Mei to show off her pandas so right. much. It was just too much risk. Too much. But involved. look at you now! Yay! But she's really found her rhythm, and I'm so proud of her. <laughs> So make sure you show off your panda every once in a while. Oh yeah, we love showing off our panda. Yeah? But of course, only after you do your homework. <laughs> and keep up with your studies, that's very important. Thank you. Cute. Who is your four town bias? It's Robert. Robert. <laughs> Did you know he speaks French? No. So you're a fellow four townie then? I do, who's I love Taeyang. Taeyang, Tae 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 yeah. You would yeah. love my friend Abby. She loves, loves Taeyang. Oh my God. You know, he fosters in your doves. He's such Can an angel. He has a voice of an angel. Do you remember at the four town concert? <laughs> they were literally so angelic. I almost got to touch them. It was Maybe amazing. next time. All right, Come let's, on. Let's, let's settle, settle down now. Let's settle down now. <laughs> uh, thank you, girls. Bye. Okay, that was cool, right? <laughs> that was so good! That May May meet and greet was amazing. The Turning Red meet and greet is a definite must. I think it was awesome. Yeah. Did you love it? Yeah. It was so cool. I love that they're face characters. You can actually have a real conversation with them. The line is long. We waited about an hour and a half, maybe even like a little bit longer than that, but it was definitely worth it. And it, today's the first day, so I'm sure, actually, no, I think that line is gonna be pretty long the rest of the festival, but it's definitely worth it if you're turning red fans. So we're over by Goofy Sky School, and you could do really fun things. There's cute little activities. You could get calligraphy, you could make a little wish, and we did both of those, which was awesome. And now we are gonna wrap up the video because my sister just left because she has to wake up early tomorrow for work, and we're gonna do a part two of Lunar New Year because we didn't even scratch the surface of all the yummy food but we're not gonna leave without trying a churro so we got the almond cookie churro do you want to hold it up for us it looks awesome so let's I try take a bite right now okay take a bite what do you think tastes good you like it I could definitely smell the almond it's very almond forward which I love so let's give it a shot all right I'm gonna take one and you take the other mm. What do you think? This is good. Mm. If you love almond and you love churros, this is a must. I love both of these things. It's one of the best churros. Honestly, it's nice and warm too. I love the crunch of the almonds. The glaze on there is really yummy. This is a must. Yum. Mmm, that's really good. What do you taste? Mm. Mm. I taste... Oh, man. Yeah? Do you like it? It definitely tastes like an almond cookie, but in churro form, which is phenomenal. Probably one of the best things that I've had all day. Oh, I've got churro all over. Oh, that was so good. Oh, oh, you've got churro all over you. Like I said before, there are so many more food options and we're coming back in four days, three or four days. We're gonna bring Mila with us and we're gonna try more food. So there's definitely gonna be a part two to our Lunar New Year experience, but already this is one of my favorite celebrations that happens at Disneyland. It is so much fun. I love everything. I just saw myself in the reflection and I forgot that I got these Baymax ears and I'm obsessed all over again. They're so cute. I love the little cat. 
mochi. Okay, so we are calling it quits today. It is like almost five o'clock and we are gonna head home. We are definitely doing a part two because we have to have more of the Lunar New Year foods. There's also something really cool. Do you remember that lady making these really beautiful ornate candies? She was making like dragons and like all kinds of like really cool things out of like melted sugar. Have to come back and do that. There's also like a DIY slime making station that we have to check out, plus all the foods. We're coming back in a few days and it's gonna be awesome and we'll bring Mila along with us. Grabbed a favorite thing. What did we get? We got... We got these cute... Ah, Ooh, munchlings. We got some munchlings. If you don't know, we are obsessed with munchlings. These are like a mystery pack. You don't know what you're getting and they're Disney characters, but they're like different food items. So these are so cute. I can't wait to open these. We got one for Mila and Maya got one. Are you so stoked? Yeah. Okay, this put those... is the one that I'm holding. This is the one that I'm holding. Okay, we'll have to open those when we get home with Mila. We cannot leave the park without getting a treat. So we got marshmallow wands, but we're also Do gonna- Do not eat that. No, we're gonna save it until we get home. All right, we got something for Mila. We got to meet May May. What was your favorite thing that happened today? To meet May May. Meeting May May. My favorite thing today was definitely meeting May May and her mom. I loved getting my Baymax ears. The best thing that I oh, ate today. Look at that little cutie. Look at that little cutie. The best thing I wait, ate today wait. has to be the strawberry milk macaron. That was so good. Such a surprise. I what, know. What was your favorite thing? That drink. What drink? Oh, the pineapple drink? That was really good too. Tasted like a Dole Whip. Delicious. All right, we're gonna call it quits, right? We're gonna go home? Oh. Yeah. Let's put this back in their bag. I do have three more tastings left on my tasting card. And the good thing about these is if you buy them and you don't use them all up in one day, you can use it throughout the celebration or throughout the festival. So since we are coming back in a few days, I can use up the rest of my tastings when we come back. The festival runs through now, which is January 23rd through February 18th. So we have some time to celebrate celebrate Lunar New Year. If you come to the Disneyland Resort, make sure you check it out. It is so much fun. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we just made it home. We've got Mila. Yeah. Hi. Hi. First of all, we have to show Mila. <gasps> They're so cute. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> so we're gonna share these. Who's, who wants to wear them our next trip? Okay, fine. Mila can wear them. Chuby. Okay, here we go. We have our munchlings that the girls are gonna open. Remember, these are a mystery pack, so we don't know who the girls are gonna get, so let's check it out. Wait, let's see who there is. <gasps> I wanna get, oh, no, I wanna get Joy. I wanna get Joy, look how cute Joy is. Okay, open, let's see who you have. I hope I get Joy. We are obsessed with munchlings. What do I get? What did you get? Oh, I got who I want! No way! Yeah, I got Joy! Oh, I want my gosh. Look how cute you are! How cute! I want a so Joy! So it's Joy from Inside Out. And then what does she. Oh, she's a melon gelato sundae! Oh, how cute is that? Does she smell at all? She's so mm -hmm. No. So cute. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> He smells like. What is he? That is so cute. What's a Roy Kucha? What is that? I don't know. What's a Roy Kucha? I don't know what a Roy Kucha is, but let me take a look at him. He looks like a matcha or yes. a type of matcha. Yeah, he looks like matcha. I need to figure out what a Roy Kucha is, but this is so, so cute. Oh, she All smells right. fruity. Okay, say bye. 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 Okay, obviously we should have known because Mike Wazowski is green, but a Roy Kucha, I just Googled it. It's like a type of green tea. So he's a little green tea. So cute.